Andres. What's up, bro? Most of my Amazon Prime suggestions are romance novels and essential oils. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but that's just what it is. So imagine my surprise when they actually served me a new pedal, guitar pedal. A new pedal? So this like is, distortion? Yeah, no, this is the Flamma Stereo Reverb, right? It was actually getting promoted on Amazon, so I was like, you know what? $65, why don't I just buy it? Use my own hard-earned money. Wow. My own money, Andres. I mean, you never, you never out. use your own no, money. It's always your parents. That's it. As you know it. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. It's always your. So today we're gonna check out this pedal, because it's sixty-five dollars for stereo reverb, and you're kind of the master of reverb. I wouldn't go that far, mm -hmm. but I, uh, I have an obsession with reverb. It is an obsession. It, it has become an obsession. My man here has played at least five live shows a week, if not more, for years. And you've been tinkering with reverb, so you know a thing or two about it? Yeah, well, yeah. For me, uh, reverb on an acoustic, electric, um, nylon string guitar is mm -hmm. like a must. Yes. For me. Exactly. I, that's what I found. So, so we're checking out. We're just going to run through them real quick. Yeah, let's, let's Stereo, run Stereo, the Supro mm -hmm. is on my right. The Fender Deluxe is on my left. And you're just going to hear it. At the end, I might kind of do like another little spa track with it or whatever. But let's just run through the settings. Setting one. Here we go. You want a, a this, happy this chord or a sad chord? Sad, always. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the room. So here's no reverb. No reverb. Reverb on. This is one of the more subtle ones. Very subtle. Right? I can barely hear it. You can you can dime it out. That's way more. This can be like a, if you wanna, like kind of like creepy, you know, like yeah, because it's short. It's a short reverb. Yes. Increase the decay on these. But again, it is a smaller room. You know, I don't like it. I don't like room stuff. I don't like room stuff at all. We're going for it. This is a hall, I believe. This is a little bigger. A lot of people use hall. It's probably mm -hmm. the, the most popular one. Let's hear it. I like the hall, and I used it. However, I'm a, a bigger fan of the next step. The next one, I think this is a church. This is even bigger. Church has become my favorite, and usually when it comes to the room size. So you can hear it just kind of lingering. Just like the music of Andreas Colleen, it lingers. <laughs> <laughs> like many other things. <laughs> over and over. Mm. Now the thing about church or large reverbs like this, mm -hmm. in my opinion, is those ones you have to control very well. Like, because they're so long and they're gonna linger for a long time. If you have it too high, the, the amount, mm -hmm. then it's gonna become a mess. Especially a looper like you, because that can get into the loop. And then it just could, yes. So, yeah. So, uh, honestly, I prefer a very little amount of uh, long reverb like Church mm -hmm. for when I'm playing chords or arpeggios. So I can bring it down. This is the level down. See? You can still hear it, but now you can actually hear the notes. Yes. Because then what happens is that the reverb overtakes the actual sound of the notes you're taking. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. I like to hear the notes and then the remaining of it, like the, the, lingering. the, this, the lingering. That's what I like. You know, I, I like the cave setting. You like the cave, huh? Right. Now the cave, I really liked it. That's a really cool... If I was to buy this pedal, it would be because of the cave, honestly. Yeah. I like, uh, well, my favorite I like. one is actually the modulated one, which is seven, but... I think for an ambience, it's so good. Honestly, I would use this for like solos and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. like let's say I loop with a different with a with a church one. If I was to loop that, mm -hmm. what I was doing, and then I would just play on top of my loop with this other one. Oh, there you go. And I would go like. And 
I would use this to do like notes that overlap with each other. Mm-hmm. This on end front. Yes. I want to hear your thoughts on the modulated one, which is coming up, but we got two more to get to. So here's another one. This is a plate. I believe. a fan of plate I like plates on vocals a little bit I usually use a plate reverb on the vocals that I do with the covers and stuff with the girls or the original stuff this is a spring so this is going to be built in a little bit of amps I imagine this sounds better on a steel string guitar but yeah. I'm not liking it on the nylon right. string mm-hmm. the modulated Whoa. This is this is what's up. I like this one a lot. We, I think we might. What did we call you in a previous video? The El Maestro La Seduccion. <laughs> like the, the master of seduction right here. See well, that? I mean, if you were to like, like play this with that effect and just make up words, come up with words like, I remember when we used to walk together, holding hands. I do too. I was earlier. No, 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 no. no. No, no, that's for the OnlyFans. Oh, yes. Man, that's yes. that's Only easy. Fans. <laughs> so, yeah, I like... I personally like... So, there's seven different reverb types in here. That's the cool. modulated one. I like that in the cave the best. That just is pretty cool. Generally, I like I like the weirder reverbs. You know? But I already know what I would use if that was to be mine. Mm-hmm. If I had $65 right now to give you... If you did, yeah. I would, I would definitely use a church with a very small amount. And then I would play my solos with cave and this what is this one again uh, modulated. modulated yeah mm-hmm. that's what i would do that's so, it it's cool i you know what it's a 65 dollars stereo reverb one thing that i think a lot of people don't realize is the power of stereo pedal effects most of them are mono the stereo ones are really generally a lot more expensive honestly i you know? didn't know the difference that much between the two mm-hmm. until in my editing software in logic I put one first, the mono one, and then I switch to the stereo one. Mm-hmm. What a difference! Like yeah. it, it basically is ne- night and day. It wraps around you, sure. the whole sound. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. So we might do like another thing where we just plug this direct in because it is more of an acoustic thing. I love the sound of a nylon three reverb. That's why we use this as the example. But uh, yeah, let's let's plug it in, go direct in, and record something. What do you say? Why not? All right, so here we are on the cave setting. Andreas is about to lay it down. You ready? Oh, I was born ready. 